Flutter is Google's UI toolkit to create native applications for the mobile, the desktop, and even for the web. They can be built from a single code base. So if you're coming in from backgrounds like iOS or Android or even React Native, I'm going to show you what Flutter is and how it works and get you up and running. If you don't know who I am, I'm Adrian from Australia. I do videos around design and development, so if you haven't already, hit like and subscribe and let's just jump straight into it. This is the Flutter website. And here we get a better idea of what Flutter is and how we can use it. If we take a look at their information here, it's essentially a way to do fast development, expressive UIs and have a native performance when you're developing. Let's take a look at some of the things it does. Over here, we can see that essentially if you're using Flutter, you've got a way to develop stuff with hot reloading. You can create a UI with some state and it looks like the syntax for that is pretty simple. It actually reminds me a little bit of React Native. And what we're going to do is continue having a look. It looks like they've got a number of pre-made widgets that you can utilize so that you don't have to start building things out yourself. This way you can streamline your development. So that's really cool. And on top of that, by using their system, you will get that performance that you do when you're creating things natively and building them. So let's jump in and have a look at their installation guide so that we can get them up and running. I'm going to just go here to the top and I'm going to select get started and we'll go through and install this for windows. Cause that's what I'm running today. I'm going to click here to install the windows version and it does require a few things. So we'll need to make sure we have PowerShell 5.0 and we'll need to make sure we have Git for windows. Now I've already got both of these, so I'll skip past this. And the next thing is we'll need to download the flutter SDK. To install this, we're going to have to copy it into our C forward slash SRC folder. So I've already created one over here. This I'm just going to maybe drag into the folder directly and maybe we'll just unzip zip it over here. I'll create a new folder maybe called Flutter. I think that's what the example says in the documentation. We'll extract everything into there. While that's extracting in the background, we'll have a look at the next step, which is to create an environmental variable to make sure that we're referencing this path properly. So to do that, we'll need to jump into the window settings to create a path for that. Let's do this now. I'm just going to right click on my computer over here and click properties. And that's going to give me some information about my computer. And then I'm going to bring up the settings over here and select advance and select environmental properties. And over here, we'll want to create the variable for that. We're going to go under paths and we're going to add flutter backslash bin in there and just make sure that it's referenced properly. So I'm going to jump back in here and I'm going to go to paths, which is somewhere down here. Let's have a look. Uh, here it is. We're going to edit this and we're going to add the directory. Now I think the directory is just what we referenced it as before which is the C drive, SRC, Flutter, and bin. Let's click OK for that. And that should be it. I'm going to save that and click OK. This is still extracting in the background, so it should be done soon. So that's finished unzipping, but it's created a folder inside our folder called Flutter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rename the top level folder and I'm going to drag and drop the original folder back in just so that it's in the right path. Otherwise later when we reference it, it might be in the wrong place. Great. Now that we've got flutter installed, essentially we're going to run the flutter doctor. Now to do this, we're going to jump into our folder path here and we're just going to run it as a command. Now I'm going to open up a version of my terminal here to do this. Let's jump in here and we're going to go into our folder path here for flutter, which is just under SRC and then flutter. And what we're going to do is we're going to run flutter doctor. While that's running, we'll have a look at the next step, which is to make sure that we're going to select the right example here. 
So in this case, we want to do an Android tool chain development. Ooh, there's four errors already. So let's take a look at what we need to do. So the first thing is the Android tool chain. We need to make sure that we're developing for Android devices. So to do that, we're going to have to accept the Android license. We're also going to have to make sure that Android Studio is properly installed with the Flutter plugin and the Dart plugin. We're going to also make sure that VS Code has the extension for Flutter. And finally, we're going to have a look at making sure that we've got some devices that we can connect up. So let's take a look at those. The first should be easy enough. To do this, we're just going to run this command here that they recommend, which is flutter doctor dash dash android dash licenses. So let's do that. I'm going to copy this command into my clipboard and just paste it back in. And hopefully this should be an easy enough step to do. Let's hit enter on that. And that's just loading now in the background. And what we're going to do is we're just going to hit yes on this and all the other requirements that we might need. And that gets this step done. So if we run the flutter doctor once more, we should see that this step is completed. So the next part is to open up our Android studio and make sure that we install the flutter plugin and the dart plugin. And we'll also open up VS code. I'll set up a empty project and we'll start installing the extension for that as well. The extension can be just found here, but I'm going to try and install it just directly from our system. So here I've got VS code and I'm just going to head over here to extensions and I'm going to type in flutter and hopefully this gives us the correct one, which is just over here. I'm going to select to install that one and that should essentially get the VS code up and running. What we'll do is we'll just rerun the doctor once more and let's double check that that's properly installed. So we can see that is now installed. And finally, we'll just do the Android Studio section. For Android Studio, I've just opened up VS Code and I've searched here in the marketplace for Flutter. And I'm just going to install the package. That should get us up and running. And I'll just select yes to install all the tools for that. The other part is to make sure that we get Dart. So let's install that as well. Here, I'm just going to load it up and it looks like it was already installed as part of that. So what I'll do is I'll just restart uh, Studio and we can rerun the doctor now to double check that we have everything up and running. All right, so it looks like we've got all checks across. We just don't have a device yet to connect up, but that's looking good. If you don't have Android Studio, you'll need to make sure that you have installed it. And you can do this by just going to Google and typing Android Studio and going to developer.android.com. And there you can download a free version of it, which you can get up and running. There are a few more steps here to set up Android Studio, such as making sure that you have an emulator device and the SDK tools, making sure that your emulator device is set up properly and making sure that everything else is configured. I've actually done this already on React Native, but these steps are pretty simple. So let's just jump straight into the good stuff now. The next step is to set up our code editor for Flutter. And we're gonna do this here. We've got an option here for IntelliJ, but I'm gonna select VS Code. We already have the latest VS Code installed with Flutter. And I suppose the only other thing we need to do is verify that it's connected with Flutter Doctor, which we already did. So we can move to the next step. And this is now to get started with an actual project. We're gonna create an app. Now to do this, we're gonna have to invoke the view command palette function and type in Flutter and select to create a new project. So let's give this a shot. I'm going to go into a new folder and do this. Here I have VS Code open. I'm just going to hit F1 and in here I'm going to type in Flutter and here we've got the option to create a new project. In our case, we're going to just call it Hello World Flutter. And this should get us up and running. In here, I'm just going to select the directory for that. So in this case, I've already got a folder called Flutter-app and I'm going to select that as the directory for our application. Here we'll have a new folder for this and this will start setting up. We can see that all the files and required uh, directories are being set up here on the left. And once this is done, we'll be able to start using it. Great, so it looks like that's finished. And our actual Flutter app actually exists in lib 
and in the file called main.dart. Here we've got a bit of information on that file and if we have a look at the documentation here, it does say that that's where it exists. So the next step will be to actually run our Flutter application that we've now created. To run it, we're going to first set up our emulator device. So down on the bottom right here, we have no devices. When I select that, we've got some options up here. I'm just going to very I'm just going to select the very first one here, which is start the Nexus X5 device. And this should hopefully launch that emulated device. This is now launching and we can see it's loading up here. And I've got my React Native app I built last time here. I'm just going to close out out of that one. And we're going to start our Flutter application. We'll start the application. I'm just going to hit F5 here, which will start debugging. And we're going to select Dart and Flutter here as the environment. This will launch it and we'll start running it. We'll also select up here where it says no configuration. We'll select add Flutter. And this will make sure that the debugging configuration is set up properly. After that, all we have to do is invoke start debugging and we should be ready to go. So there, there's our application and it's now up and running. Uh, this looks like a simple counter. And if I select the plus sign, it seems to be increasing in count. So it looks like our basic application on Flutter is now up and running. Great, so we have Flutter now up and running. And we've got a number of tools here, such as hot reloading. Let's give this a try. What we can do is maybe update some of the text here in our lib main.dart file. And we'll save that and hopefully it'll update straight in our application. So here I've got the application. I'm just going to scroll down to the section where have you pushed this button this many times and many, um, maybe I'm just going to remove something here or change it. So maybe, uh, what, what's the example here? We'll remove pushed and we'll change that to clicked. Let's do that here. Hit save. And yeah, we can see that it's been updated straight away. We haven't actually lost this state in our application, which is pretty cool. If we have a look now, we can have a look at doing the next step, which should be to write our very first Flutter application. And this is where the fun begins. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit like, hit subscribe. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.